everyone. I'm Amy O'Dell. I'm the editor of Cosmopolitan.com, and welcome to a very special episode of Cosmo Live. Today, we're going to be talking all about body image. We have a very special guest. But first, I'd like to introduce the editorial team, Elisa Benson. Hey, Elisa. Hey, Amy. <laughs> so we haven't been here for a couple of weeks. It's been awesome to be back. Oh, it is awesome. I've missed Cosmo Live so much. I know. Me too. <laughs> so Elisa is going to be reading your tweets during the broadcast. So don't forget to tweet us at Cosmopolitan with the hashtag Cosmo Live. Next to Elisa is Anna Breslau. Hi. Rocking pigtails today. Yeah, my hair is dirty. <laughs> <laughs> with possibly cleaner hair is CJ Richards, our resident shirt. Definitely list. cleaner hair. <laughs> you did it possibly. special. You did it special today, didn't you? I had to have my barber do it up. <laughs> <laughs> I can see. It's like extra voluminous. Yeah. All it's about, a pop got the in there. <laughs> Great. <laughs> Also rocking amazing style is Charles Manning, our style um, editor. I um, I slept on my hair wet last night so that it to get this particular look. So that you had the option of CJ. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm really um, yeah. I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> you woke up like this. Next to Charles is. <laughs> I woke up like this. You woke yeah. up like this. You're welcome. America. Next to Charles is Carly Cardlino, our beauty editor. Hey guys. And next to Carly is our very special guest, Sophie Tweed Simmons. Hi. Hey, Sophie. Hi. I did not wake up like this. <laughs> I did not either. <laughs> I did not either. So we're here to talk about body image, and I'm yes. so excited that you came. I think this is a really important topic. Obviously, it's something that a lot of our viewers and readers struggle with. So I guess can you start by sort of telling us how body image became such an important topic to you? I mean, you're a person yeah. too, who is you know, like in the Daily Mail with like mm -hmm. paparazzi photos and, yes. you know, people are talking about your body and how you look. And There was a very unflattering shot of me diving into a wave in Hawaii in a thong bikini in the Daily Mail, like across the top, just my ass, mm -hmm. <laughs> which is something a lot of people don't have to deal with. And it sucks that you have to deal with those comments, but... I was what did they say about you? Was it nasty? They, like, yeah, or? like beached whale or like, you know, like any sort of like beach comment you could possibly make, <laughs> right? Because I'm not a size one. two, but like, let's face it, I'm not plus size either. And it's, it's a shame that people have a stigma toward anything that's not perfect. How do you feel about the term plus size? Because I know for us, whenever we write about models who are technically plus size, and that's mm -hmm. a term that agencies use because they're working in a different market than a quote unquote straight size girl who's mm -hmm. very, very skinny. Um, people get upset because they look at the plus size models and they say she's not they're plus not size. They're not plus size. And they're not really, if you think in normal terms, what is plus size. So how do you feel about that term? Do you think we should phase it out? Yeah, I, I feel like there's a negative stigma toward plus size now, and plus size used to be size 14 was a plus size model, and now plus size models are a size 8. That's my size. And we're modeling clothes for girls that are sizes 14 and over. So the clothes don't look the same on girls like me considered plus size models for girls who actually are plus size. The same with straight models who are so severely smaller than girls like me who are buying those clothes. Mm -hmm. So I think we're putting out a fake front on what the clothes actually look like and how they're supposed to fit you. I completely agree. Where do you stand on Photoshop? I mean, I. My mom was a model before Photoshop was a thing. And they would have to go in by hand and like smudge out whatever they didn't like. And it was such an artful process. And it was to make the composition of the photo better. And nowadays, it's to make the person look better. And I think it's kind of taken that negative shift to where you'll hire. Some stylist told me this quote, and it's awful. But he said, we get $500 a day models, and then by the time we're done with them, they're $5,000 a day models. Uh. Isn't that awful? <laughs> Charles, you're a stylist. How do you feel about that? I mean, about, about retouching? Mm -hmm. like. No, about that idea of you get a girl, and she's whatever, and then after post-production, I mean, I've she's never, or whatever. I've never, I've never worked on any set where, or on any shoot where we're like, transforming anyone to that degree. Like, I just, I, I, I just, I would never do that. Um, because, I, personally, I just don't like to put that much, um, that much power into the hands of someone mm -hmm. outside of the shoot, like, who's, who's offset. And when I'm dressing a girl, I want to actually see her. I want to feel like I'm, I want to feel like what she's wearing is, is real and an actual representation of what, of what we're doing. Um, like, it, I, I find it the most exciting 
when I'm working with someone and they get excited about what they're wearing or they feel um, they, they feel something and they feel comfortable. It's like a lot of styles really don't care about that. Um, it certainly makes it easier when you don't care, but um, I, I really I enjoy that. I How does it want. make it easier if you don't care? Um, because then, like, the person is just an object, and you get to dress them, and you're like, mm -hmm. go on. Have you ever have you ever styled a photograph or dressed a girl where you saw the finished product in a in a magazine or in the actual photograph and been like, oh my god? No, actually, not um, not in my experience. Uh, never at Cosmo. They, we didn't. When I was at Cosmo Print, we never did like extreme retouching like that. And before that, I was at Nylon, which is like this little downtown magazine where we didn't do that either because it was, you know, we were like down and dirty yeah. moving quick. Mm -hmm. Has that ever happened to you, Sophie? Yeah, I mean, my mom and I have a new show coming out called Shannon and Sophie in Canada, and we just did the promo shots for it, and we thought we looked great in these before photos that we got to approve. And then when they went out, I was like five <laughs> sizes smaller, and my hair was longer, and my legs were thin, and I was like, Guys, you have to take that down. Like, it stands against everything I stand for. You can't Photoshop me without my knowledge. And that's what happens to a lot of these actresses and models who are on the covers of these magazines. They don't get asked. Do you feel like you have to be extra vigilant now about demanding that you get to approve these images? I mean, Kate Winslet, some people might remember, she famously came out against a cover of herself on GQ where mm -hmm. she was Photoshopped to look much thinner. And she said, you know, I don't look like this because she didn't want people to feel bad about themselves. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm not trying to fool anyone into thinking I'm smaller than I am because I'm very happy with my body and I think I look great. So I'm not trying to go out there and sneak these pictures in where I look massively thinner and, like, I'm not one to Instagram a photo only from a certain angle. Like, it's just whatever it is, it is, and that's what I look like. And sometimes we take bad pictures and that's okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think, too, because you have spoken a lot about how important this is to you and a lot about your own experience, you know, then if a show or any kind of outlet puts these pictures out of you that are really photoshopped, I feel like that's hard because you have to say to people, like, wait, this wasn't me doing that. And I think a lot yeah. of times people assume that, like, the celebrity or the person being photographed, that they're kind of, maybe they have more Responsible. control over that. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, a lot of times, and in most cases, we don't get to approve it anything other than like, do you like your face here? And we go, yeah. And then they just take it and run with it. But that's before any of the editing has happened. So. Mm -hmm. Have you ever felt pressured to lose weight? Of course, yeah. Especially in high school, like every girl ever. There's the skinny <laughs> popular girls and then there's us, <laughs> everyone else. And you want to, you know, look like that. You, you were popular look... in high school? No, I ate lunch in the tech lab. Every day. <laughs> and I was head of the math team. <laughs> People weren't like, oh my god, your dad, I'm like going to worship at your altar. No, I think, I think I really like didn't become close friends with people because I was afraid of why they were friends with me. Mm -hmm. So I was really selective in my group of friends. And even now I only have like four best friends in the whole world that I know are for real all the time. Mm -hmm. And I prefer that. I prefer people who are honest 24-7. And that's the way I am with people. So I hope they'd be that way with me. Mm -hmm. Because you've been on TV, when did you say it? When you were 11, yeah. you guys started filming the reality reality show. Mm -hmm. So you, I mean, even if people don't know the association with your parents, you've been on TV really your whole life. Yeah, and people have a preconceived notion of me, and they go into meeting me with what they think that I am and what they think they want from me, and hopefully I just shatter that when they meet me. <laughs> Well, I think it's funny, too, because, of course, well, th th we met basically over Twitter, Twitter. <laughs> because you were a Cosmo follower and would tweet at us all the time and always talk about all your ideas for Cosmo. And I was like, yeah, yeah, like, tell me more. Um, but I think it's funny because you're so real on Instagram and on Twitter. Like, it's really unfiltered. You post pictures from, like, I don't know, when you were at Coachella or, like, when you're at mm -hmm. parties and red carpet. You went to Coachella? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I sweated my ass off in the desert, and I wore a bikini, and I didn't care. <laughs> yeah, the right. pictures are everywhere. Yeah. But I think, it's, I think it's funny because you're so yourself on social media that people could still have this, like, wrong idea about... Yeah. But, I mean, that's just the world. I mean, I guess. social media is a good thing and a bad thing these days. Like, it's great because we're sharing and we get to be ourselves, but it's bad because now we have a silent competition with people we didn't used to have competition with. Like, supermodels are now on our daily level because they're in our daily Instagram feeds and our Twitters. So we relate to them more than ever, and in a way, we're subconsciously competing with them and trying to be as good as them instead of, like, movie stars used to be movie stars, and they were a whole other world. So 
it's different. It's good, but it's different. <laughs> what are people saying on Twitter? Does anybody have any questions for Sophie? Yeah, um, let me just do a little refresh here. I mean, I think you're right, too, though. Like, now we're inundated with images in a way that we never were before because mm -hmm. of the internet, because of social media. And the thing, obviously, now is to share photos of yourself looking a certain way. Yeah, and I, I really like the celebrities who go out of their way and say, this is me without makeup, everyone, by the way. Like I Lord? I don't look like this. <laughs> yeah, like Lord and like Demi Lovato, who shares pictures of her bare face. And I'm like, why is that a bad thing? Everyone knows what you really look like, so why are we trying to hide it so much? It's not. We have a Celebrities Without Makeup slideshow that we update all the time. Yeah, fantastic. It's like so popular. It's but so popular. What I hate about a lot of those, not Cosmos because I've seen it, it's great, but some of them go like, oh, look how terrible this person looks without makeup. No, we don't take like, that approach. Yeah. No, definitely not. But it's, it's awful, like those magazines who do best and worst beach bodies. The Daily Mail is so bad. It's so it's bad. Like the, I feel they like they always the worst get me one. so ter terribly. <laughs> Terribly. <laughs> like the most unflattering shot, not that I care, by the way, but it's giving people the idea that if you're at all imperfect, like, you're going to be thrashed. Also the worst puns. The Hard worst. The puns. The worst. The Brits. Oh, I yeah. wish I had, I wish I had that article about my bum. It was like pun <laughs> right, after just pun all after beach pun. Related. Nautical, nautical, <laughs> nautical pun. Yes. And my bikini <laughs> was Lord. blue and white striped, so it was like, Bring it on. <laughs> oh, <right. laughs> it was, it was so when you go on vacation, when you go to Hawaii and you're just thinking, I'm going to have a great day on the beach, I'm going to boogie board or whatever, mm -hmm. snorkel, whatever you do, mm -hmm. are you thinking, I wonder if there's a photographer in the bushes waiting for me to, yeah. to bend over so he can take a picture? I mean, I think it's... Because, I mean, it's like if you think of your normal yeah. interactions, it's like you can yeah. bend over and pick up a towel and you wouldn't think anything of it. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely something to think about. I mean, in this case, I thought I was safe because it was a private beach, and I was like, I'm going to wear a thong and, like, tan my bum and have my tan not stop here for once in my life. Sure. But, you know, it's it's just comes with the job, I guess. If you want to be in this industry, you're open to criticism and you're open to compliments, and you have to take both equally. Mm -hmm. That's good. I really love your attitude. I mean, like, I feel like you... You put out a certain persona on Instagram and Twitter, but it is really who you are, and it's just yep. so nice. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, I think yeah. it's good. I think the best thing everyone can do is just be themselves, and then you don't have to keep track of all the fake stuff you put out there. Yeah, that's true. Um, totally. Stella, our fan Ruby Lynn on Twitter, brought up something really interesting um, about, there's this story about Rob Kardashian being, like, fat shamed today, and sort Not of, awful. like, yeah, I and sort that. of this idea that fat shaming is even, like, crossing over to men. Which I, think I think, I don't think it's crossing over, I think it's always been there. There's always been a pressure for men to, to look like you. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> it's genetically your fault. blessed, we know. <laughs> but there is pressure for men to look like models and to be able to take their shirts off whenever and be fine with it. And they get it just as bad as we do, but it's not in magazines as much because a lot of magazines are geared toward women. Mm -hmm. That's true. That's a good point. Um, Mindy Eden just tweeted, I think this is smart, looking back on bad pics when I was young, I realized they weren't that bad after all. Which I feel like a lot of us You have can't, like, look at a picture of yourself as a child and be like, oh, I look terrible. Like, you're 12. You don't know. Right. Come on. <laughs> exactly. this, that, that was, like, before the time when you cared, when it was all about, like, wearing what was comfortable so you could go climb a tree. Like, right. it should still be like that. Right, but I feel like we've all had that experience of, like, we all have those moments in high school where you're like, oh, I'm so fat, I'm so fat, that was such a Oh, yeah. And, of course, we all look at pictures when we were 16, and it's like, damn, girl, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I look at pictures of myself when I'm 13, like, before puberty, before I had hips, and I'm like, where is that waist? But it, it's not realistic. Like, you can't look like a 13-year-old forever, ever. Exactly. How old are you now? 21. You're 21. You're so young. Yeah. <laughs> I like envisioning Elisa looking through, like, flipping the, through the pages of her yearbook and just saying, damn! Every time yeah, I exactly. I exactly. Mean, but I think it's a reminder <laughs> that the way you feel about your body in those moments of doubt aren't accurate. Right. I, I mean, I had a girl at my high school who was overweight, and she would make fun of me for my weight, and I was, like, significantly smaller, but I never in my mind thought thought that we were a different size. Mm -hmm. And it, like, just damaged me so much to think that one of my friends was looking at me like that. Mm -hmm. But those people aren't your friends. Right. right. That's the thing. We take criticism so close to heart when we really should just be listening to our friends who say nice things about you. Right. Right. Definitely. Do we have any more feedback from our Twitter followers? Um, people are really excited about <laughs> the topic. Um, somebody asked Sophie, um, do you ever just not wear makeup? 
every day. Every day. Every day that I don't have to do things like this, I'm not wearing makeup. I just did a movie in Michigan where we're like running through the woods and it's a horror movie and I don't wear makeup that whole movie. And you felt okay about that? Yeah. And what I'm like covered in it? dirt. <laughs> it's called <laughs> Urban Myths. It's like a teen thriller. We get chased by. Do you wolves die in it? Do you get killed in it? I can't tell you. <laughs> <laughs> but I can tell you I'm covered in dirt, and I get a sweet is it a ghost black eye. Situation, or is it like a slasher situation? No, it's 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 like a it's like a demon ghost. Oh, myth, it's like urban-y, a Indian feeling. Demon. Wait, I have thing. a question. Yeah. I'm so scared of scary movies. But Are is you? it scary to be in a scary movie or no? Because you're. Behind, you're <laughs> you, know you know what? My friend, um, actually, his name is Lou Ferrigno. He's Lou Ferrigno Jr plays um, the bad guy. And he's so awesome and nice and smart in person. And then when we got into a scene, I did not know that person. Like, that was Is scary. At, at one point, I was like, okay, you can stop now. Stop <laughs> chasing me. Like, you, you actually get scared, but it's good. It makes it real. Like, I would have nightmares. I'm oh, like, yeah. We I'm have terrifying. to go see a scary movie for No, I, I get scared. No, I, I, I will sleep scary. at your house. You come with me. It won't be scary. <laughs> I will sleep on your couch. They're all so dumb anyway. I, I saw Insidious. <laughs> I saw Insidious and I had to sleep with the lights on for like three months. See? It just blew my mind. I love horror movies. I, I love like them. I just uh, I cannot do them. I I'm like that, lose my mind. I'm that annoying person in the front who like laughs when they're nervous. They're <laughs> <laughs> like laughing really really hard through the whole movie. <laughs> oh, like they're like this is a comedy. Out. Yeah. <laughs> I would love to go to a scary movie with you, Carly. It would, we'll just be so you would be so cruel about it. I know, I, I would. I know, that's why I want to go. You'd like freak her out. No. I would enjoy oh, it so much. You. Someone <laughs> else's fear helps okay. cut through my own. I'm, I'm like, okay, well, we'll arrange an outing. Um, I think we should move into story pitches, though. Okay. You can share my paper, okay, lady. Cool. Carly, do you want to start? I like yes. your idea about um, skinny bitch syndrome. Okay, yes. So I feel like we explain, should... Explain your idea. Okay. So skinny bitch sy- syndrome, well, first of all, it's when someone doesn't really take in enough energy as, as they need to put out good energy, so you end up feeling you mean hangry. They don't eat well, yes, basically. But it's not to the point of anorexia, and, but you still, yes. are, you still are obsessed over every calorie that's being taken in, but, but really you're just like an angry bitch the whole time because you're like... <sighs> like what everyone turns into when they're not eating. Anyone yeah. on Adkins, ever. <laughs> because there's no carbs, and they're just so mean. But I think, that it, I think that it affects a lot of people, because you're always trying to keep up with... I mean, it's another form of disordered eating. Right. If you're not anorexic, technically. Right. Mm-hmm. Like, beyond thinking about, I'm hungry, I should eat, I'm thirsty, I should drink, anything beyond that is, like, obsessive. Right. Or, like, when the person's, like... I'm so hungry, and then you go to eat something, and you're having a garden salad. You're like, yo, I thought you were hungry. But you're hungry, <laughs> right? Mm-hmm. They're, they're like, oh, I hate when I go out to eat with air. someone, yeah. and they have like, they don't eat. Yeah. Or they have like a piece of lettuce. Yeah. I think you guys posted that thing about the human Barbie who like lives off light and air. Yeah, yeah. 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 You know, like the air, the part of the air. How are you not something. dead? <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. That thing with going out to eat and being the person who doesn't eat. I've done that. I do that on almost every dinner date. Like, if I have to go on a date. But why? Maybe, why? Maybe, 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 not maybe, not with friends, but, like, with a guy. Because I'm just getting... She's pretty It's a physical... Yeah, it's I like totally a nervousness. You don't like eating in like front of other people. It's not that I don't like... I don't like, like it. I just can't... Like, I'm too... I'm, like, not... I know not, what you I mean. Mean. You know what I mean? When you're nervous, it's just, like... Because no, then I think it's, that's like... nerves, though. That's different. No, it's yeah, nerves. Yeah, but then I feel the pressure because it's, like... But you're not the chill girl who just, like, eats the hot dog. And it's, like, I love this. You know what? Without dropping on the Actually, and then it's like I literally am the bitch who eats a lettuce leaf. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, <laughs> Dude, I need a hot dog on first. <laughs> literally eat the most messy I love thing it. and just. I love beer like, and, and hamburgers. Like a food. Yeah, yeah it's a food everything. test. Yeah. If you can eat the most messy thing ever and spill it all over yourself and they still like you, like you passed. I feel like that's actually the goal. <laughs> I'm like, I'll have the red soup, the red wine, <laughs> anything like staining, <laughs> and, and I'll wear white. Then feel like, do you still like me? I just basically <laughs> just pour red wine all over. <laughs> That's amazing. It's worked so far. Do you date a lot? Pardon? Do you date a lot? Uh, unfortunately, yeah. <laughs> Why unfortunately? Um, Isn't dating supposed to be fun? Yeah, but I don't have tolerance for people who suck. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, like, you fit right in here because I don't think any of us Yeah, no. no. If, yeah. if a guy like says something off cuff like, oh, you're going to wear that, I'm like, well, it was nice meeting you. Ew. Who said yeah, that? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, my God. I live in Los Angeles, people. Yeah, <laughs> like, that's it's, true. It's, it's real. Why are they it's just like, a lot of guys, too, like, if you put exactly. your hair up, they're, they're not. Like, that's why they leave. Why did you do <laughs> like that? 
Yeah, or like someone said to me at dinner, like, "Oh, you would look really pretty if you were blonde." And I was like, "Hey, thanks for dinner." <gasps> oh my god, See, yeah, that is very LA. That doesn't happen it's, in New York. It's very LA, and it happens more often than not. But why do people there's think no they tolerance. Can just say things? Anytime like that? you start a sentence with like, "You look really pretty if you," if, you know what I get all the time is, "You're so pretty in person." <laughs> like, oh, that's bitch. <laughs> Great. <Yeah. laughs> so not, or they go like, oh, you're so much thinner than I thought. <laughs> what did you think? Right, exactly. <laughs> um, actually, on that note, somebody on Twitter, Cynthia Haas, just asked, when you get knocked down, how do you get back up again? Like, what are t- tricks and tr- what are tips and tricks when you're having a low confidence day? Um, CJ, you probably know about this when you like go on auditions and you get told no all the time, like. Uh. How you just does that happen to you? You just go. It, it does happen. I mean, you just yeah. brush it off, right? Like. Yeah, I mean that's what you have like a good uh, friend group for, you know, who believes in you and supports you and tells you that you know they believe in you and. Like I pick you up. Yeah, yeah, yeah like exactly. You like you yeah. have to think of every situation in life like an audition. Sometimes you're gonna get the compliment you want, and sometimes you're not, or you're gonna get shut down, and you have to just brush it off because there's gonna be another situation around the corner. How many auditions do you go in a week? I mean, I had four today. Exactly. And how many of them did you, after you left the room, were you like, if I don't get it, I'm going to kill myself? None of them. Exactly. (laughs) Thank you. You're like, except for the one. Except for for all of them. Right. (laughs) CJ is a portrait of confidence. (laughs) Yeah. As always. (laughs) And I have your invisible shirt. (laughs) And I really like your idea. Um, Are selfies good or bad for our body image? Yeah, because it's like... um, on the one hand, it's like, uh, you know, I do think that there is a level of empowerment to, like, just being able to take a picture and then be proud of it and then put it online, and it's like, mm-hmm. it's me. But then on the other hand, it's like, to get your best selfie, like, and to, like, only have angles. Someone said to me recently, like, oh, everyone's favorite picture of themselves is one that doesn't look like them. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it's like, oh, when so you take funny. that into consider, also, like, the MySpace angles, you know what I mean, where it's just like, I want it to be, like, a version I don't of my So, like, take like... the picture from up facing down and to the right, left. Right, right, right. <laughs> And Which it's just exactly like what we did when I took only it. this, you know what I mean? Like only, literally, just this and any other pose I like won't put online. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. So like that. But you don't of, really post selfies. Not me. Per, no, not I don't. Do you want to like, do other people? Do you want to do one right now? I do not want to. <laughs> I mean, I do post selfies, but I think they're all different. Like I don't just try to put out like one thing. Like this is who I am. That's all there is. Like there's so many dimensions to a person. You yeah. Know, sometimes I'm laughing. Sometimes it's like just a one eyes closed, or like I don't know. But like that's not the point. Right. The picture pictures are supposed to give a feeling. They're not supposed to just make people go, "Oh, I wish I was that pretty." I think ideally, yeah. But I do think for. that there is there are. I mean, I've seen Instagram accounts of just right. like, girls who exactly. clearly are just trying to look beautiful in everything. And I, I mean, I feel like I try to look yeah, beautiful. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> but to be totally honest, like I wouldn't post a picture. Yeah, but you're that one I of those like, people who's amazing because it's just like your hair looks good today, and you're like, I know. That's true. <laughs> Lisa, Lisa will tell you, brag about her hair all day long. I love it. Right. Right. Like, I know my hair is flawless, right? She's guys. Been just I'm like a little flawless. tired yeah. of talking about it. <laughs> yeah. DJ, do you post selfies? <laughs> yeah, I post true. selfies. I mean, it's part of my job, so. Yeah, you have to. As, as, a, a, model. as a model. Yeah, I mean, you know, you got Like, your agency's like, why didn't you post any selfies this week? You got to get what is, Oh, wait, what is the advertising for him, DJ, what are your yeah. cards yeah. called? Comp cards. What does yours look like? Can you do your face that you have on your comp cards? I think it's something like... I think it's something like... Is it? <laughs> I mean, I is it just here. you're pondering go. a thought? Is it really that? Yeah. You're yeah. on a couch? Laying, I'm just laying in a field. <laughs> Languidly? Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. It's my dance it's hard, isn't it? It's, it's, uh, that's on the other side, yeah. <laughs> I understand selfies from the other side. No, no, no. I've been job. working that's with TJ a lot longer. <laughs> I've worked with TJ for like two and a half years or something, maybe longer. So that's true. Okay, so it's true. <laughs> I've seen that card many times. Actually, it's a new card. He's like, it's on my fridge. I'm, I'm, I'm for selfies if they're not just for, like, validate me, tell me right, I'm pretty. Right. If they're for, like, I'm capturing a moment I want to remember, all for it. If it's for, like, please tell me I'm pretty, I don't think that's the purpose. Mm, agree. Do we have any final thoughts from our followers on Twitter, Alisa? Um, a few people are pitching in ideas of stuff we should cover. That college girl says how to handle guys <laughs> being rude about your body. Yeah. Um, which you had some really overtly stuff, but I do think there's <laughs> subtler ways of oh, definitely. Too, like, you're dating that. So I feel like we should definitely talk more about that. I mean, not, not everyone is as extreme as me that will be like, leave. Yeah. Right. <laughs> Stop so. them. No, seriously. No, yeah. Someone tells Stop you your them. body looks bad. Yeah, Bye. No, we should, yeah, yeah. We should never have the yes, chance to talk I to you about it. 
Um, Johanna says, thank you, Anna Breslau, for pointing out that not eating in front of people can come from real anxiety and not vanity. Yeah, yeah that's true. Also, I didn't read this earlier, but someone earlier referred to Anna on Twitter as dirty, dirty hair girl. girl. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh my God. <laughs> Hashtag love your body. It's been the of my career <laughs> thus far. <laughs> I will say I had one girl, Nadia, on Twitter who said that people told her she was fat four times today and that she was so excited to watch this to learn what to do. Oh, my God. And she lives in Sweden. Let's tell her. She actually tweeted she in tell earlier. Her she did. Yeah, she said that she loves you. Um, somebody mm -hmm. else says, um, can Sophie Simmons be my best friend? Yes. <laughs> of course. But you are, like, like everyone's best friend. Like I feel like you could like connect with anybody so instantly. Like Hopefully. I met you for five seconds and we were like, let's go well, somewhere together. I feel like people. <laughs> I feel like people like honesty. And if what you're putting out there is really who you are, there's yeah. nothing like you don't get a sneaky vibe and you don't get a bitch vibe. It's like, this is who I am. And if you yeah. don't like it, that that's sucks. <laughs> One yeah. best friend for Bye. me. Dump them. <laughs> Dump them. <laughs> hey guys, that's that's all the time we have for today. Sophie, it was so amazing having you. Thank, Thank you, you so much for coming by. Thanks for having me, guys. Thank you all for tuning in. We will see you next week for another episode of Cosmo Live. Bye. 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 <laughs> That's weird.